curse not only those who are crucified around us, but even Christ himself, being angry at him for our fate, blaming him for our broken bones, for the wounds that we bear, calling him to account for our every misfortune, difficulty, and affliction. But it also happens that, in the midst of our pain, we see our faults. And like the other thief, we realize that, quote, we indeed are suffering justly, for we are receiving what we deserve for our crimes. But this man has done nothing wrong. And that's when we turn to Christ and say, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And the man who had no business in heaven becomes on that very day, in that very moment, the first to enter paradise. In his 53rd Ambiguum, St. Maximus the Confessor offers us a profound meditation on these two men, who in a sense are one man, or who are all men and all women, figures and images of us at different times in our lives, as we struggle uphill, stumbling under the weight of our cross. Which of the two we will be depends on how we respond to our cross. If on the one hand, we fail to recognize the presence of the Word, who in his love for mankind is blamelessly suffering with us, well then, like the one thief, we will revile him curse him, repudiate his judgments, and blame him for our suffering and for the cross on which we have been nailed. And because we did not recognize the word and did not ask forgiveness of our faults, we will be sent away estranged from the kingdom, receiving no promise from the word that one day we might attain it.